For decades, astronomers believed that red dwarf stars, the most common stars in the universe, might be the best places to find life. They're small, they live for trillions of years, and many have rocky planets right in the habitable zone. But a new study from Columbia University suggests we might be looking in the wrong place. Astrophysicist David Kipping argues that advanced civilizations are unlikely to exist around red dwarfs, and that humanity may actually be an outlier. Here's why. About 80% of stars in the universe are red dwarfs. So, statistically, if life were common, we should exist around one of them, under a dim red sky. But we don't. We orbit a G-type yellow star, and that's already rare. Only a few percent of stars are like our sun. Kipping ran a detailed Bayesian analysis, comparing the odds that intelligent life could form around different stars. The results? The chance that our existence is just random luck, 1600 to 1 against. In other words, something about red dwarfs probably prevents observers like us from emerging. Maybe their constant flares strip away atmospheres. Maybe tidal locking freezes one side of a planet and scorches the other. Or maybe planets around red dwarfs just don't stay habitable long enough. If that's true, then most of the galaxy's stars, nearly two-thirds, could be barren. So, while red dwarfs may glow the longest, they might also be too hostile to nurture life as we know it. The search for alien civilizations may need to focus elsewhere, on stars like our own sun.